I was hoping this would happen. I was literally hoping we would get like a round two of holiday makeup releases and they would all be so good. And I feel like that's where we're at. So obviously we need to talk about it and that's what we're gonna do. So let's get into it. Also don't mind how dark it is. It's a little moody today. It's a little moody, the lighting. Let's first talk about the thing I am beyond excited about. I think I'm gonna get every single one, obviously to show you guys on swatches, but I have been asking for this and I was hoping we'd get it from Patrick Ta. It looks like we're getting eyeshadow duo which is just mm, so exciting. These pictures look yummy. They look delicious. They look gorgeous. I don't think we have a launch date on them yet, but it seems like there's gonna be maybe four Four, four duos. They all look stunning. If you guys didn't know, last year he came out with a blush palette that also had some eyeshadows in it. And I've been talking about those eyeshadows. I'm like, I just want the quad. I just want the eyeshadows. I hope we get those. And he's delivering. So I hope these are that formula. They look like you can see in the actual powder. These look a little bit more like creamy. Like they're almost gonna feel like a cream. That's what it's giving, but they look super sparkly. There's like a golden silver looking one. There's one that's a little more champagne. There's a pink and kind of, I don't know, cranberry looking one. And then it seems like there's a cooler toned, maybe bronze kind of one. So very, very excited for that. Like I said, I love that it's a duo too, because as much as I love single shadows, I feel like duos are that perfect in between where you're getting like double the eyeshadow, but you know, it still feels small and compact and like just a little pot of treasure. So love that, but it also makes sense with his line. He does a lot of dual products, the blushes, the highlighters, the bronzer, all that. So I think this just makes so much sense. It looks gorgeous, stunning, mm, everything I could ever want. So let's hope it lives up to it because I'm putting a lot on it and I'm so excited for them and I will definitely be picking those up. Can't wait to get my little grubby hands on them. Hopefully we'll get like a launch date on them soon. I'm definitely gonna have my, you know, eyes open, ears open, trying to make sure I, I get that date. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm scared they're gonna sell out. I don't know, just Patrick Ta stuff does sell out, I feel like. So I'm gonna make sure I'm on it. Okay, that being said, something I was shocked to see come back are from Charlotte Tilbury. She is relaunching and I think they might be available now, but the single shadow she came out with, I wanna say it wasn't even last holiday. It was like the holiday before. It feels like it's been a while. Maybe I'm just mistaken, but she came out with these hypnotizing pop shot single eyeshadows and I was so excited and into those. I think the packaging is so cute and they, sold out so fast. So the initial launch had seven shadows in them. There was even a duochrome, which, you know, what is going on? It was like this blue one. It's called Cosmic Rocks, which I thought was beautiful. Like I was really into these eyeshadows. I haven't used them in a while. I need to bust them back out now that they're back and available. But she even brought back the ones that came out for like Valentine's Day, which I really love the uh, Pillow Talk Ultraviolet from that collection, as well as the Pillow Talk Diamonds. So I think it's really exciting. Again, I need to revisit them. I feel like my taste and eyeshadow has changed just a little bit over the last couple of years. So I want to make sure I still really love them. And unfortunately in that time frame, the cosmic rocks, I, it kind of shrunk in the pan and then fell out. And so it was casualty. Like it's gone, unfortunately, especially because these are very expensive. They're $34 a piece. Um, so they're definitely pricey. I think I still prefer my Chantecaille eyeshadows. Like if you're going to splash out, I just love those baked ones, but exciting to see and kind of shocking to see that she brought these ones back because I really thought they were gone. Like, I don't know. I just feel like there was a lot of time in between. I'm sure it was like a manufacturing thing. That's what I'm assuming because I don't know why she wouldn't bring them back sooner than that. But um, they're back. If they were on your list, those are back. Okay, continuing on with exciting new holiday. We're getting a new palette from Makeup by Mario. This is like a second to his Etherealize palette. And this is Etherealize Moonlight. It's gonna be $68. It is already available on Sephora. So I'll have it linked down below. I already bought it. So it's on its way to me. We'll see if I like it. And if you were here when Ethereal Eyes launched, I was not the biggest fan of that palette when it came out. I just felt like the mattes, they blended too much. Like what kind of complaint is the mattes blended too much? But honestly, those mattes kind of blend themselves. They just blend so easily. And so if you're gonna do a more complicated eye look where you're really building out the crease and all that, I do feel like it can get maybe a little muddy. You're not gonna have as much definition just because it blends out so much. But if 
you're just doing simple eye looks, which is what I love to do now, um, it, it's a great palette and I've really come around to that palette over time, which I just think is so funny because tastes really do change over time. And so I love that palette now. I know, didn't initially. And so I'm excited for this one. It's definitely more cool toned. It has kind of some grays that lean blue as well as an actual like midnight navy color in here. I'm assuming it's gonna be a very similar formula. So we're probably gonna get a few of those kind of topper shimmery glittery shades in here which i love and i'm excited to branch out and do something with this palette and i don't know you know eyeshadow palettes are a little bit harder for me to get into but there was something about this one i'm sure it's my love of the original but it got me excited so there will be something on that soon and it'll be interesting to see how it matches up to the original palette let's continue on with palettes because we got another drop this one's natasha denona and this is the roxa palette it is purple well a lot of purple Purple. There's also some pink tones in here and I really feel like this is a relaunch of the Lila palette Which was also a purpley palette, but this is in that midi size, which is $69 There's 15 shades and I will pick this up when it launches. I don't know if we have Oh October 19th I believe is the date or October 20th right around there So I will be picking this up more for the collection. This is very colorful for me I will say like purples. I'm not really wearing purples, but for anyone who's a a purple lover, a pink lover. This definitely could be something to look out for. It says it's limited edition, so I don't know if it's just coming out for holidays or if it's gonna stick around and be in the permanent line. I feel like Natasha Denona has launched so many palettes this year. I feel like I almost have to eat my words on the most recent midi launch, the I Need a Warm palette. I really thought, mm, who needs it? Who needs it? And I have been loving that palette. Not as much as I Need a Nude, because I just, I mean, that one reigns supreme to me, but I am shocked by how much I have been loving my I Need to warm. I feel like it's such a beautiful fall palette and I have just used it so much. So, you know, this is not neutral. So I don't know if I'm going to fall in love with it like that, but I definitely want to see what some of these shifts are. There's like a marble shadow in here. I feel like she's been updating her formulas throughout the years. So some of those shimmers definitely take on different textures and finishes than I feel like we've seen in the past. So I'm very curious about it. I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. And I do have quite the encyclopedic collection of Natasha Denona palettes at this point. So yeah, I definitely will be picking that one up. And I do have a code with Natasha Denona. It's LMB15. You can use that to save money if you're gonna shop. But um, yeah, I am excited for that. It seems like there's a lot of sparkle to it. So I love a little sparkle. You know, I think I can make some nice like one shadow, my kind of vibe looks from these. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. Okay, continuing on, let's talk about these really beautiful looking Lux highlighting powders that are coming out that honestly you're just stealing my heart it's just beautiful i've really been loving and into a beautiful compact a beautifully pressed powder just something that feels just so nice and a little bougie and a little luxury in my makeup bag like that's what i love using daily lately so these have totally caught my eye first from by terry which you know i'm not usually keeping up with stuff from by terry but i do feel like more and more some of those powders are way more my style than they used to be anyway these are the starlight glow cc highlighters and there's three different ones looks beautiful. There's like a champagne, kind of a pinky one, and then this beautiful bronze one. And I think I'm interested in the pink one. I think that's the one I would get. I haven't bought this yet. We'll see if I do. But I just think the way that the powder's pressed, it looks like gems and shards. It just looks stunning along with the packaging. And I think getting that kind of mix of a highlighter and like a glowy blush would be really nice. So that's the one I think that I'm interested in, but they all just look so beautiful. I don't know. I'm just feeling the holiday vibes from it, but also just in general, there's something kind of glamorous about the way these holiday launches are that I feel like will carry me into other seasons. Whereas sometimes some of the holiday stuff can feel a little too specifically holiday and it's not as fun to like use it throughout the year, if that makes sense. So I like that it has that kind of like timeless glamorous look to it. Okay, this next one is a highlighter from Hermes. I'm telling you, unfortunately, oh, I've been, I've been loving the designer bougie bullshit. <laughs> I have, I have. This one from Hermes looks so pretty. It looks like a champagne-y kind of pink highlighter. It's the Plein Air. 
I don't know. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it looks so pretty. Before this, they did have a highlighter. It was just one shade and it was a little bit of a deeper champagne. So I think it was, it was trying its best to be universal for one shade, which is like really impossible. But this one looks so beautiful. And I did like the formula of that highlighter. It was a little bit harder pressed and I feel like I'm gonna really like this. So this one's on my list. We'll see again. <laughs> so expensive. I know these pricey launches are getting me, but something about this compact is absolutely drawing me in, making me so excited. We'll see if I actually end up getting it, but I don't know. It kind of almost gives me Becca vibes. You know when Becca would come out with their limited edition, different pressed highlighters? That's what this is giving me. Like, ugh. There's a hole there. There's a hole where Becca used to be. Okay, let me take it to something a little bit more affordable here. Elf has come out with some single eyeshadows that I definitely want to get my hands on. I haven't bought these yet. I don't know why I need to, but these are the finest fleck glitter eyeshadows. They're $6 a piece. You've got to love that price point. And there are, I think six different shades. There's white hot, which has like a white sparkle to it. There's champagne showers, pop off pink. It's glit, which is golden. Uh, there's straight fire and then filthy rich and they are very tempting. And I really love this launch. I feel like I've been asking for single shadows for a very long time and we are just getting duos and singles up the wazoo lately. And I'm like, thank you, finally, it's happening. It's finally happening. And so I definitely wanna get my hands on a few of these ones, just an exciting launch, like such an exciting launch to me. They're also doing some shimmer balms, which I think was really smart. So many of the like higher end brands, I know Tom Ford, maybe even Shantikai, Mac in the past have done these really Really glittery lip balms that especially look beautiful. I feel like like in the camera, on Instagram, you know, they, they get you with the sparkle. They did two of those. They have Perlfection and Choco Liddy. So um, yeah, I think those are both great launches from them. Again, haven't tried them, but I thought they were so smart and they really feel like they're mimicking some of the high-end stuff I'm after, which is so nice to see again at such a great price point. Okay, some other holiday things that launched after I did my holiday Sephora sets video. So if you haven't seen that, you can check it out. But I feel like as soon as I posted it, outdated, they already launched a bunch of new sets. Didn't think it was possible. So many sets were out at that point, but there are more like holiday palettes and also holiday sets that have come out. First, this one from Ilya. This is a face palette and it's the Ethereal Baked Face Palette. It's $58. It has some blushes, bronzer, and highlight in it. And I did end up picking this up. I'm gonna do a whole like holiday recap video, um, but I will say, you know, just to give you a little bit of thoughts. I think it's, I mean, I'm enjoying it. Don't get me wrong. There's three different color variations, which I appreciated seeing. It can really be tough with face palettes because you never know if all the things are going to work for you. And so, yeah, you're getting a discount, but are you going to have some untouched things in there? And also the shape of this one was very interesting. It's kind of like a painter's palette. That's like the vibe, I guess. More thoughts to come, but overall, I do think the powders are a nice product if you're looking for something baked, which I tend to really love. It's a formula I really like. I've really been into the like classic makeup style as well as like more classic and luxury formulas lately. The set I immediately bought as soon as I saw it was the Westman Atelier set. I have just been obsessed with the Westman Atelier cream blushes. I just think the formula is so nice. It's pigmented, it blends out, it's creamy, but not too creamy for my oily skin. Just so nice. And this mini baby cheeks blush trio, it's $69, definitely a little more pricey, but you get three travel size blushes in there. I believe two of them are a Around. So there's Mimi and Petal in there, but then there's also Pop It, which is this really beautiful, like pink, like a hot pink kind of look. So I've been loving that. Again, I really love the formula and I feel like the mini blushes could be a nice way to try out some different colors. And I do think they're pretty sturdy overall for being minis. I have a few different minis now from them and I've been able to really use them and they're not like destroyed, but I will say, I hope they come out with some deeper colors for blushes because I feel like the range is really missing those. And I, I really want them to get on it because Again, I want everyone to experience that formula. It is so good. Going back to a few Natasha Denona things, these are like some holiday kits that have come out. So there's a baby I need a nude, which the babies are different than the minis and they're different than the middies. I know, <laughs> stay with me. The baby eyeshadows are only three. And I have to say these three are beautiful in here. It has Muse in here, there's Vague, and then also Mesh, which I wanna say are all a part of the I need a nude. Let me check that and get you corrected information. Okay, yes, they are in here. So this is the vague shade that's in there. Then there's a Muse, which is one of my favorites. And then Mesh is also in there. So if you have this palette, you don't need the mini, but if you want something travel size and you love those three shades, it could be something. Or if you didn't buy the palette, you're just into those shades. That's
that's what's in there. Very beautiful. I mean, I think those three are a nice choice in there for an everyday palette, at least for me. And then that also comes with a taupe eyeliner or eye crayon. I haven't tried that eyeliner and I'm definitely tempted by that because I love a taupe or just something a little more gray or not completely black or even just regular brown when it comes to liner. Something a little bit softer, at least for my features, can be really nice to give me some definition, but again, not go too overboard to look harsh and stark. So I think that's a great little set. Definitely a good one also to potentially gift. It's $27, which I think is a great price. There's also the mini rose cheek duo. It's like an ornament. It's $20. That one, I mean, it's a little basic, but you know, that's out too. The baby I need a nude is definitely the one that caught my eye. Okay, continuing on this. Oh, it got me, you guys. This one got me from Gucci. This is the holiday collection. It has a few things going on. There's two blushes. There's a little eyeshadow kind of quad and also some lipsticks and lip glosses. And the quad's fine. I think it's pretty, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, I wasn't that interested in that personally. I do actually like this lip gloss formula that's in here. I think it's that plumping one, but all the Gucci lip products have that floral taste to them. That's the thing. I'm like, oh, I just don't love that to be honest. I wish it didn't have that. Just give me vanilla, give me unscented even. I don't love an unscented, but floral's tough. It's like perfume. And sometimes if I'm wearing certain lip products and I'm sharing a straw with my husband, he'll be like, why is there perfume in the drink? And I'm like, sorry, that's my lip product. Anyway, what did catch my eye are the blushes. So pretty. I love the limited edition red packaging. And so I did pick these up again i'll have like a roundup of what i feel like are the best holiday releases that i ended up buying like what was worth it what wasn't just giving you all my thoughts but i really have been loving the other gucci blush that i have it's just in this like kind of a basic pink to be honest but it has this perfect amount of shimmer in it where it just looks luminous on the cheeks it kind of reminds me if you're looking for like maybe a cheaper option it is kind of similar in a way to the clinique cheek pop blushes um in that again it has just a nice luminosity to it without being actually shiny. And so I've just loved that. And so with these two new blush colors, there's one that's like a soft peach and one is called like intense ruby, I think. I couldn't make up my mind. So I went with both. And let me just say the intense ruby, if you like that kind of windswept flush, I do think it's it's really beautiful. I wore it yesterday. So I definitely still have more testing to do. Don't get me wrong, but mm, I really loved the way it looked. I felt like, you know, with a big fluffy brush, it just gave me a beautiful flush to my cheeks, a nice amount of color, just super pretty. Definitely not a need, but if you're looking for like a little treasure, again, I just love those makeup products that can feel like a nice little thing to add to your collection that I don't know, not only looks really beautiful, but also works nicely. You're actually wearing it because that's a big part of it. I mean, obviously that I feel like it goes without saying, but you know, I know some of us can get those really nice objects and not want to touch them, but I think there's something really nice about having that expensive blush, but it also being used like having some good use to it. So anyway, that holiday launch definitely had me excited. There is some new stuff from Lawless. There's a few sets, which I think I touched on in that Sephora video, but it looks like we're also getting a new palette. This is the Dreamy Dozen Volume 2 palette, which I do have the original one that came out. And you know, there's a lot of mattes in there. I felt like the mattes were really blendable, but I didn't love the shimmer. So I'm kind of interested to see if they kept that same shimmer formula or if they changed it up. And honestly, it looks very similar to the, you know, original Dreamy Dozen. So I'm not sure if I'll pick that one up, but it is tempting. It is pretty looking like I love a good neutral palette right now. So, you know, there's something about these tones that looks really great, but I don't know if I'm gonna go for that one, especially cause I'm getting the Makeup by Mario one. So we'll see. But really I'm wondering if those shimmers have been improved. Okay, I'm pretty sure, I hope I'm not wrong, but I'm pretty sure I didn't talk about the new Pat McGrath holiday launch in the last like new beauty launches. So I wanna touch on that here. There's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, it's always a pretty big collection that she does, but this one, it's different in the same all at once. This is the Luminous Legends collection and it has a mega eyeshadow palette. She tends to do a mega eyeshadow palette and this one, I mean, the shimmers look really pretty. I don't think I'm gonna get this one just because I feel like I have had a few of the Pat McGrath bigger palettes and I just don't use them as much, but I do like the formatting of this one for some reason. It feels almost like a book of shadows, although it's a lot for me and I tend to go for a smaller grouping of shadows. Something about this and even the color story, it's still 
still has very much Pat McGrath, like the rosy browns, the pink tones, the golden tones, but there's a blue, a purple, an icy shade in here. I don't know, the mix of it all, I do think is kind of inspiring and still has that neutral edge to it that I want. So I don't know, I'm not mad at it, but I just don't know if I'll get the use out of it. And like thinking long-term, I don't know about it. I don't know, man, the swatches make it look so good though. There's a lot of shimmers in that palette, which I do love. It's very shimmer heavy. Anyway, there's also two five pans, which she's been doing the five pans now. I think this is the third year because the first year she did it, I was so excited. Then last year she had like four or five pans and this year we got the two. So there's a purpley one. And then there's also one that's just a little more neutral. It has a gold in it. I don't know. These color stories to me aren't grabbing me personally. So I felt like those were kind of an easy pass. And I also just want to point this out too. Something to consider if you're looking at these palettes, make sure you're not getting duplicates. I feel like she's been duplicating a lot of shadows lately. And so if you're a big collector or you already have some, just make sure if you're drawn to some of these, you don't already have them because you maybe were drawn to them in, in the past. And also, again, there are a lot of those same rosy golden kind of colors throughout different collections of hers. Okay, all that being said, the other really exciting thing is that there were some duos that launched and I don't know if she's done duos like this before, but there were three different ones. There's this kind of festive black and gold, which I think could make some really beautiful dramatic looks. There's a more like peachy pink one. And then there's also like an olive green one. I was super tempted by the green. I did end up getting the peachy one just because I loved the idea of a duo. You guys know I love a duo. So I was excited and I wanted to test it again, kind of let you know some thoughts on that for holiday. So I hate to tease you on so much of this holiday stuff, but I want to let you know what I'm getting so you can know what's going to be coming down the line. Uh, but I am still testing so much of it and I don't want to give you the wrong thoughts and just like first impressions. So yeah, sorry for the tease, but um, yeah, very heavy eyeshadow launch. I thought there are some like lip kits and stuff. I'm not as like interested personally in those, but lots of eyeshadows coming out from Pat McGrath. And I'm telling you, it's the time for eyeshadow duos because Shantikai also launched some duos for their holiday collection. This is the Gilded Garden collection. And I have been keeping up with the Shantikai releases. I think you guys know that by this point. And so I was very excited to see some duos. There are three different colors. There's this kind of cranberry one, a more neutral brown, and then there's a cooler gray. And if you saw my most recent video, then you know I got the brown one. And yeah, I I mean, I'm into it. I will say a lot of brown eyeshadow from Shantikai, but they're pretty. And I really love the outside casing. I, I think it was a very pretty holiday collection for sure. They also came out with some of those sparkly lip balms, which we've seen from them before. I haven't tried any of those, but I thought it was very festive and a beautiful little collection for holiday. I really feel like with so many of these new launches, I've just been being treated. Like, I'm like, thank you. These are all so cute, so pretty, just beautiful little collections. That all being said, we can catch up with ColourPop. There have been a few new releases. I feel like this year they've been a little more quiet. Like they've had their IP, but I don't know. It's just, maybe I'm just not as into it anymore. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts. But there was a Stranger Things collection. This had a lot of different stuff in it. I think the little Eggo waffles or, you know, like the waffle lip balm. How cute is that? It's a lip mask. Oh. So cute, it probably smells like maple syrup. Like, I love that. There also is a palette, which, you know, it's just a lot of color. I'm not, I'm not against colorful eyeshadows necessarily, but I'm definitely in my neutral phase. Like, let's get real. I'm in my neutral phase right now. I'm into my small little treasure phase right now, you know? So that palette's not necessarily calling to me, but I think it's a really cute launch if you're really into Stranger Things. I get that sometimes that makeup is just merch, but we're really losing the light. I don't have another light right now, so we're just gonna keep going with it. It's like I'm telling you spooky, scary stories. I'm so sorry, guys. We'll wrap it up very soon. Um, another collection though from ColourPop. This is the Bratz collection. I thought this was fun. I am surprised they haven't done a Bratz collection before. I guess that was Makeup Revolution. They did one. Um, but the palette, it's like, it's okay. I definitely see the Bratz theming on it overall. But I really think the lip kits were a fun touch just because I feel like Bratz and their lips, like, I don't know. I think it's like cute to have little lip sets. But overall, I just find it interesting. I'm definitely not drawn to the ColourPop stuff as much right now. 
I feel like they're resting a lot on the IP and it's interesting because out of like e.l.f. and ColourPop, I feel like those two are the ones I think of for more inexpensive makeup, but ColourPop has definitely rested so much more on the IP and the collabs. And they've also done dupes, but I feel like e.l.f. has done dupes more. And although they've done collabs as well, it just feels a little different, but they are similar. Does that make sense? Do, do, I'm not even making sense, but anyway, okay, let's keep going. I should wrap it up because it is just like, I'm slowly like creeping in the dark right now. Um, I did want to mention there's some new Isamea Beauty lip products that also just looked really beautiful. There's this black, like almost kind of verging on a blue lip gloss that has sparkles in it. There's like an icy silver kind of one that looks basically clear and then a really pretty pink that has that kind of purple iridescence to it. These are the Lip Lac 2.0 Maximizing Lip Serums. I have not tried these, but I've really enjoyed the palettes that I've had from Ismea. So I don't know, just something that kind of caught my eye. There was just something about it. I love the sparkles, but kind of done in a more simple way that I can appreciate. So I don't know definitely something on my radar, but I'm gonna have to wrap it up because I didn't think it could get darker And here I am even more so looking like I'm talking to you from a dark cave I'm really sorry about the lighting here at the end. <laughs> Let's blame it on spooky season. Um, anyway Thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you in the next one Let me know what are the launches that you're interested in if you have a holiday launch you want me to review Let me know down below so I can try to get it and have it in that video But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. It's so dark <sighs> What the heck?